Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Corner. Today I want to do a quick tip on something that we do a lot and something that we use and I think is very useful for a lot of different people. So uh, we do a lot of camping, hiking, uh, we have fires in the backyard, that kind of stuff. So you always need uh, you know, a fire starter of some sorts. And uh, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do that. And we have done uh, fire starters in a lot of different ways. Uh, you can get different types of tinder with some wax. You can get, um, you can buy the pre-made ones, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but if you use them fairly often, you know, you don't want to buy all kinds of them and and then have to uh, just burn them all up. So uh, we figured out a, a really quick, easy way to do it. Uh, you can do it with about any kind of wax. Uh, paraffin wax works really well. Uh, but what we make are these little fireballs. Um, so super simple and easy. All it is is uh, what how we do it. Uh, my wife uses a lot of the wax burners. Um, there you go. Which this is Ella, by the way. This is my daughter. She's eight. Uh, she is the uh, Vanna White of the uh, video here. But uh, we're gonna make these little fireballs, and all it takes is the wax warmers. My wife burns these things, or has them run and has wax going to smell the house. Uh, it does smell nice. I, I agree. I like it. I know the video looks a little girly with this sitting here, uh, but you know they're always around the house. Well, we always had to clean them out. Uh, so we figured out, well, if you use uh, cotton balls, you can just dab that out of there, throw it away, and uh, throw a new cube in there, nice and easy. So that worked out really well, and then I realized that, well, that's flammable. So, you know, these make awesome little fireballs, which you can use paraffin wax, uh, you can use uh, the wax warmers like this. The wax warmers are actually pretty cheap. Um, so, I mean, you could use that, and, and if you don't want the smell, then use paraffin wax. But if you like the smell, or as soon as you start your campfire, it actually smells like cinnamon or pumpkin spice or... That sounds pretty girly, but yeah. you know what I mean. So we have all different kinds. We have so, these two right now, pumpkin apple and cinnamon bun. So cinnamon bun and pumpkin apple. So that's what our fire would smell like. So, um, you know, what you do, all, all you got to do is uh, once that's good and warm and all the wax is like liquid, we use Altoid cans. Um, I eat Altoids just so I can have the tins. Uh, these tins are so useful, especially for camping, hiking, anything like that. You can put just about anything in them. Um, and they last a long time, nice, super cheap and easy. I'm into, you know, cheap and easy kind of things. So, um, you know, all you got to do is take your cotton ball and you dip it in there. And what you want to do, you want to get that cotton ball uh, about a quarter to a third of the way uh, up that ball and then put it in the tin, close it up, and set it later. Usually for a full wax cube, it usually takes uh, two or three uh, cotton balls. So you actually get several at one time. Uh, but if you stack those away, and like I said, you can fit about six cotton balls into, without crumbing them together, you can fit about six cotton balls into an Altoid tin. Uh, so set those away for later. Whenever your tin gets full, I've got a baggie. I throw them in a baggie, and then I've got some outside in the shed. I've got some in the camper. I've got some in the hiking pack. They work great for emergencies or, like I said, camping, whatever, because um, that wax will keep that cotton burning. And um, like I said, all you want is about a third to a quarter uh, of that cotton ball cover because you have to have enough fluff on top to actually catch a fire. These things will actually light with the flint and steel. You don't even have to have a lighter. Um, so Ella is actually really good with the flint and steel. Uh, so she's learned how. So if you didn't have a lighter for some reason, um, I always carry flint and steel around. Uh, it's a good emergency thing. If you've got a couple of these going around, you can light this and this will burn for you know a few minutes or so. Uh, so usually you, even if you got little sticks that are wet or something like that, you can start just about any fire with one of these. Uh, if everything's really wet, throw two of them in there. Um, it'll burn that much longer and you know that much more surface area and you can actually start a fire with just about anything. So. Um, I'm going to show you, my, again, my wife is going to kill me when she um, sees that sees this video and knows that we're doing it on our kitchen table, but we're going to be as safe as possible. Again, safety, public safety notice. Do not play with fire. The wax in this is hot. Do not burn yourself. The can, the tin, will be hot when you put the hot wax in there. Don't play with fire, all that kind of stuff. So um, that's one of our wax um, fireballs that we have already made. So we're going to light that thing and show you how easy it is to light. All you gotta do, I mean, you just barely touch that flame to it. Like I said, that'll do it with the flint and steel. Whatever you want, burns for a while, burns nice, hot and easy, everything like that. I'm gonna put that out before we burn the house down. And uh, that's about it. Uh, so super easy fireballs, um, fire starters. Like I said, you can start about anything. Anybody can light it, flint and steel, lighter, whatever you want. Uh, good to have around, carry around for emergencies, camping, hiking, whatever. Um, I've always got some just about everywhere, just in case. So any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, uh, like, share, and uh, don't, play with fire, kids. don't play with fire. So make sure you subscribe to the channel that we can see more videos when they come out. Any questions or anything, like I said, hit me up in the comments below.
Thank you and God bless.